Yes, hello you people, you people out there in YouTube land. So where are we today? Well, we are going to this place called Alexandra Village Food Center to try some of the popular foods there. Yep, we're gonna go in there and have some food. So are you interested to join me? Okay then, join me there. See you in there. So I came back here to this place called Alexandra Village Food Center, a place with lots of good food. I've been here before, I've tried many of the good foods here, and I'm going to another to one of the stores that I'm familiar with. And as I was walking around, I noticed something a bit different. First of all, the last time I was here, there was more of a queue for this food store. Secondly, I noticed when I looked around, the bowl, the container that contained the food, is a bit different. And the first thing I noticed, of course, is the signboard. The signboard is also a bit different. Do you notice the difference? No? Let me show you the signboard that was here last time I came. You notice the difference now? Anyway, so what happens is I came here. I ordered the food here, which is the laksa. I ordered the large portion, which cost me $6. And this is the bowl I got. Yes, the bowl, the container of my laksa is a bit different from what I remembered it to be. Let me show you what happened when I came here last time. Yep, as you can see, the container is definitely, definitely different. But the ingredients does look similar, so I hope it still tastes good. And this is the laksa I ordered. You have three types of noodles you can choose thin bihun noodles, uh, thick bihun, or uh, yellow noodles. I decided to take the thick bihun. I also decided to add sambal. So, this is a spicy version together with siham or cockles. And it's all inside this. How do I say this? Concoction. This potion, this blending of spices and flavors in this bowl, which is a bowl of laksa. Yep. And on top there, you can see a bit of the laksa leaves. So if you look inside here, you can see, first of all, there is a very interesting laksa broth here. On top of it, laksa leaves, then beside it, the sambal. Then you have the taupok or the fried uh, taufu, then the noodles, which is the thick bihun noodles or thick rice noodles. You also have a uh, prawn. You also have a uh, chicken. You also have a uh, bean sprouts. And then also, let me see whether I can find the cockles. So yeah, here are the cockles which they put in here while it's still raw and then let it cook in the hot laksa broth. So this is the laksa that I'm going to eat. And so, let's get ready to rumble! By rumble, I mean eat. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost done prepping myself to eat. And the first thing is, of course, is to mix up all the ingredients. There's lots of sambal on top there. You need to mix the sambal into the broth to add in the extra delicious sambal flavor, make it more spicy. Without the sambal, it will be a light, mildly spicy broth. But with the sambal, it kicks up the flavor profile and also the spiciness. And as you can see, the soup here, the broth here is piping, is still hot. The steam was coming out earlier. And Oh, yes, you must taste the broth first. The broth is good. Here, you have a very delicious, very yummy, a bit thick, flavorful, delicious, with a nice aromatic coconut milk aftertaste. Broth. Mm. And then the noodles are done well too. Still a bit of a bite texture to eat. 
the same with the bean sprouts. Well done. But what's really good is the broth. The broth here done very well. A nice blending of spices and ingredients and cooked over a long time to extract out all the nice flavor. Only thing is there's a bit of a interesting aftertaste, a bit minerally, a bit um, zing at the end there when you eat it. Other than that, a very nice laksa flavor. Very delicious. And then you also have this tau pok or fried tofu which has been in the broth so when you bite into it now boom an explosion of laksa flavor in your mouth then the prawn too is nice and fresh cooked beforehand not in the laksa broth then you have the fish cake and then what i also like is there's also like chicken slices in the in the laksa the chicken slices just give it a bit more of a bite texture as in contrast to the noodles which is nice and then earlier was the uh, sea ham or the cockles the cockles here are cooked uh, in the broth so it's slightly cooked i do not like my uh, uh, cockles to be raw some people like it raw i prefer it to be slightly cooked but here look at the noodles Ooh, delicious very well done very nicely done portion size sufficient for a large portion and yes Ooh. now it's time for me to show you my kung fu skills my martial arts noodle inhaling skills that i've inherited from a mountain the mountain sanctuary somewhere in ancient china i went to a mountain limestone mountain area where the skill was actually imprinted on the walls of a cave and i learned this noodle inhaling skill from there and i'm showing it to you now are you impressed anyway so a very good laksa a very delicious laksa a very nice laksa only issue i have with the laksa is the laksa now is not unique in the past the laksa was cooked in the clay pot this clay pot kept the laksa piping hot throughout the home and i have burnt my mouth many times eating that laksa and that was the unique selling point of the laksa now that you put it in the bowl the laksa cools down very fast and I can demonstrate to you my noodle inhaling skills very easily. But the unique selling point of the laksa, the thing that I do not mind burning my mouth to eat, the piping hot laksa in the clay pot is no longer there. That's my only issue with this laksa. It's a good laksa, don't get me wrong, just that it's no longer unique. and it's no longer piping hot. And of course, the finale for my show, when I eat noodles, soup noodles, what do I do? Yes, I drink the broth, the soup from the bowl. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. Mmm, oh yeah. And so, this brings us to the end of our adventure here today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. As per usual, like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to join me for my next adventure. I will see you guys around. Okay, bye-bye.